I, I would probably start from a, a personal um, understanding of diversity, which is I say to people very generically, but, but mean it with my whole heart, my whole philosophy, and that is uh, anybody who does not use this heart to pump blood or this mouth to speak or this brain to think is other than me and otherness is diversity. So anybody other than me creates this thing called a diversity. Diversity is, um, I think it's being more colorful and uh, basically I think it's having people from different background and culture coming up together of different color, race, origin, the way they think. It's all coming up all together. It's called diversity, I think. It has to be like totally mixed with white, black, you know, Hispanic, Asian. There are different ways, different opinions being in one place. It goes beyond simple racial differences, but it goes towards background, economic status, your, your own personal interests in things. Um, and I'd say this campus is very, very diverse in that respect. The thing that makes somebody different from somebody else, whether it's your culture, your ethnicity, or your ideals, your um, religion, to your religious beliefs, and also in this that includes, you know, just your opinions, actually, your opinions on politics or life or death or just the world in general. Diversity is uh, defined in culture as different races and different eth ethnic groups, but I'm a Christian, so my diversity, we're all the same, and we're all equal. diversity is important on this campus just because it teaches you in more a more controlled environment how to deal with different types of people. Once you get out into the world you don't have any excuses about not being accepting or working with other people and college really kind of helps you learn those, learn everybody else's ideals and beliefs and their cultures and it's a really safe environment for that to be presented in. Because for me in my opinion it's always nice to learn another culture you know okay. so you, you learn a lot. They say that having a diverse student population will improve the educational experience because you're exposed to different things. Uh, if you have primarily upper middle class people from a particular socioeconomic status, they don't have those different real world experiences, people to actually speak to those issues. So you're always short shrifted in that respect. Uh, in addition to that, having different racial perspectives you, you're exposed to these things during your educational experience, so when you actually go out into your employment, you're, you've already been exposed to it, so you're well, you're well prepared for it. Never like there's a lot of diversity in one university. There's a lot of different um, opinions coming from different people. Like, or I mean, it's a lot better for the university itself because there's just like not one thought only. People giving their own different views which are different from what you expect in a normal way, you know, it's the, they think in a different way, all of them. I mean, they come to the same point, you know, but they're just doing the same thing in many different ways. Well, coming to a college where there's different races and different minorities kind of like changes your perspective of how you treat people when you first meet them. And so, I guess, I guess it did change my perspective on it. And like how I, how I interact with them. It t takes me a while. It took me a while at the beginning of the year, but now it kind of just doesn't matter and I treat everybody equal. We as an institution have made the decision that diversity is important, that diversity is a priority, and that we are going to practice diversity, we're going to do diversity, and we're going to be supportive of diversity, not only in the traditional means, but also, again, we are looking for ways to expand our notion of diversity. That's 
uh, hence why you get my original piece about the each individual. Uh, and so it's important to IPFW because we realize it for two things. If the students are not here on this campus, there's no reason for any of us, no matter if we have a PhD, uh, two doctorate degrees, uh, if we have a high school diploma, if there are no students on this campus, then we have no reason to exist as a university or as a business. And so bringing students to our campus is the portal for diversity, meaning that students come from all walks of life, they come from all different kinds of situations, and so just by the very nature of our business, before any of us apply any skills or activities or administrative know-how, the campus is diverse just by the nature of who our students are. Um, diversity on campus is very good. Right now, it's at a state where it can be improved, but that takes a lot of involvement from just the student body at, at large, in addition to the administration. Um, what I mean by that is there are, diverge, there are a lot of differences and a lot of different people um, in respect to religion. There's a lot of different religious groups on campus. There's a lot of different racial groups on campus. There's a lot of different national origin groups on campus. So you have a lot of diversity and within any particular group you have diversity. You have diversity in reference to politics. May it be a democratic or a republican group or a group focused primarily on just government as opposed to being partisan. Uh, so in all respects you have diversity and that's also reflected in the classroom. If this place is more diverse, then probably people are not going to be that ignorant about things and they won't probably ask ignorant questions. The safe zone training, which is for the, you know, to be sensitive to gay, lesbian, and um, bisexuals and transsexuals, and it's, it to me, it's almost like I, I experience every day. I experience it through the organizations that I'm in, the organizations that I, or with meetings that I go to, I've been to. Um, some of the cultural experiences through the Hispanos Unidos and their salsa and merengue lessons. I'm also a member of the Black Legion Caucus. So it really, it's, it's to me, it's just like it's every day. Okay. And I, I mean, I, don't, I know I probably didn't have that outlook when I was a freshman because I hadn't experienced so much of it. I mean, I, I come, I'm from Fort Wayne and I went to Homestead and it was, you know, there wasn't really a lot of diversity. In some sense, the question sounds like it's not answered, but everything that we do is diversity, even athletics. Uh, what place could you go, and traditionally we, we get students from 11 county region and primarily Allen County, and some from around the state of Indiana. In athletics, they recruit internationally, they recruit uh, cross state, they cross uh, Chicago, Detroit, St. Louis, and so uh, when athletes come here, they are truly diverse, not just by athletic skill or, or academic skill, but some by their perspective. My soccer team, we had, we had people from all over. We had people from Russia and Ukraine and uh, what else did we have? We had people from England and there were different races. And yeah, in high school, I lived in a small Amish town and we had we had probably one maybe two uh, African-American people and maybe one or two um, Hispanic people and so I was I was brought up with all white people you know I come from a huge Polish family I'm 50% Polish but most people would not look at me and see that um, I'm an African-American male I'm from Manila, Philippines. Uh, I'm from Nepal. It's a small country it's between India and China. Most people don't know about it. I am African American. I'm always the Asian girl in every class. There are students who are isolated for other reasons. I look around in most of my classrooms and I am one of few, if not the only African American student in the classroom. You have to look at it from a couple of different perspectives though. First, the university. Why are you so underrepresented here on campus? And if the answer is that they, they are very inclusive and people are just not coming, then it kind of falls on us to be mentors towards people in our communities and bring them on college campuses. Um, that's something I think that we take as much, if not a greater hit for than the administration itself. You know, sometimes it hurts like if, when people are ignorant about something, they tend to say something that they don't really mean. 
but you know they didn't even think that they're hurting the other person from other culture or from other country because they're ignorant and that's just what I've noticed when you're ignorant you know, you're stereotyping everything when in fact you have to know that person for who they are and not for their color how it's not just somebody's race or somebody's culture I think it's a it's you know it's the little steps that you can make to to understand what everybody else is about maybe you know you are a man and you don't know you know how a struggle it is for a woman to go into job interviews and not be seen as but as well qualified as a man is and just you know grasping that there is something else out there and not just your own beliefs that impact the world and also for freshmen you know the, the more they get into their program and the more they start working with people they're going to be realizing that at times they're going to have to realize that they don't know everything and they they're not going to have every idea and the only way to you know to know more is to experience it through other people people to you know if they get a chance they should go to different countries or meet different people talk to them change their views you know so yeah someone in my situation coming in and you don't know that many different cultures just for one try to accept like different cultures right away but if you, if you kind of blow them off then somewhere down the line you'll probably probably end up meeting them meeting different people and they're all they're all really cool and they all have something to bring to your life or other other aspects of your life and sometimes change causes pain and you work towards a common goal and most of us in the education, whether it be students or professors or staff, we all have a common goal. So try to find those and really develop them. Because you're here and because you're going to school here and because you're making your mind up to be a good citizen and to be a good student, um, this is a better place because you're here.